Hey guys, how are you going? I thought I'd come on and answer a couple of questions in relation to red care products and color. So I wanted to share with you what I use and for the best results. I've used quite a few different products. I'll go into that at a later stage, but I thought I'd just answer this one first. So I have just colored and washed my dreads. I get all of my products from Dreadlock Society and they are Australia based online store that has amazing range of products. Uh, all organic, natural, cruelty free. They've got beautiful fragrances. This is one of their dread towels and I'm going to share with you some of the products that I love the most. Before I do, this is what I use when I wash my dreads. This I have found is the best L'Oreal because if you have dreadlocks, they do get quite thick and this goes a long way. So if you are after a product that is beautiful, feels good and you get great results, this is it. I'm going to show you my dreads. So I'll take up my towel. So you can see these towels are really nice and big. They are, they have dreads on them. And I actually have half and half. So my dreads are quite long. They are coming on to nine years old. And I have started to brush out half of them and I've left the other halves and I have very wispy ends. You'll see the color a little bit better when I uh, actually dry them. The towel does a majority of the drying, which is fantastic. So I've put it on and then I take it off after about 10 minutes and I put the other end on and then I put my dread towel back on. Really, really simple to use. Pop your head over. You can see that they're nice and big towels. Uh, there are the ones that do have the little connection at the back so you can hook it, uh, hook it in. This one was one of the earlier ones I got. So they just keep on getting better and better at Dreadlock Society. They're amazing. All right, so what I do when I wash my hair, not all the time after I've colored it, but generally, I will use this beautiful shampoo. Now this comes in three different ranges, three different scents, and they all have just such amazing, amazing qualities, especially mentally as well because of the fragrances, the essential oils they use. Uh, all of the ingredients and directions are on the back of the products, which is beautiful. And they're quite large and last a long time. This I probably use every second to third wash because I am in love with their drip bars. Now you can see I have just taken this straight from the shower. So it's all falling apart. <laughs> I have used it after doing my hair today. This is about halfway. They are huge. Oh, it's got a hair on it too. So you can tell I've just jumped out of the shower. This is like half the block and they last forever. It is just delightful. And you can use this on your natural hair. So I don't need to worry about half my hair being not dreaded. It is fabulous. And then they have a range of, this one's nearly gone too, soaps, uh, conditioning soaps. And I love these ones. This one's a brand new one, but it has been in the shower. And the conditioning soaps just make your hair soft and beautiful. Don't recommend the conditioning soaps, uh, the conditioning bars on fresh dreads, like new dreads, maybe after a year, but the shampoo is absolutely fantastic. Helps with locking and everything else. Every quarter, I will do a detox. This detox is absolutely beneficial for your scalp. Uh, because it will get rid of the built up gunk. Anything on, because we, we sweat, and we have a build up and this is amazing. So when you have a look at this, 
Can't do it. It's just, oh my God, it smells divine. It's like a powdery and you scoop it into either your bath or a bucket, whatever you want to do and soak. Oh, it's delicious. Then we have the Dread Spray, the Locking Spray. Newbies, this is a must. You must get this. It's a sea salt spray. It's like heaven. And you just spray this on your dreadlocks. I will show you this right now because this is super beneficial when you're maintaining your dreads. And I will do a little bit of maintenance, but... I don't actually go and have maintenance done, so I've never ever crocheted my dreads. I manage and maintain my dreads myself by root rolling and then uh, root rubbing just very lightly and then rolling. I'll show you that a little bit later. I never do it on wet dreads, but this is fabulous on wet dreads. So you can spray a little bit into your hand. It still smells so good. And just take your dreads, give them a little bit of a rub. And again, you don't need a whole lot. And this really helps to lock the dread. That's about as much as I will use on that. <laughs> and then, and I don't massage it into the wispy bits or up at the root. I just do it on the dreads because it helps with maintenance. It smells divine. Oh, I do. So simple. Give them a little squeeze. And if you suffer with any challenges with psoriasis, uh, eczema, itchy head. When you have dreadlocks, we get an itchy skull. This is magic in a bottle. All I simply do is pop a little bit onto my hand, just like this, not much at all. Massage it into my fingertips. And then I just massage it mainly at the base and around the front. And the ears, just at the sides, where you get itchy. And you don't need much. You can pop this on with a little brush if you'd prefer. Um, and you can dab it. It doesn't have to be wet. It doesn't have to be after you've showered. Little goes a long way. And this has been a godsend for so many people. I've seen people that stock this. Uh, in their stores, dreadlock artists uh, are stocking this in their stores because it's just walking off the shelf, which is incredible. So that's just a small insight to how I wash and maintain my dreads. I do have a brush. I use this after, but I'm going to do another video to show you what I do with the extensions I also sell because I only have 27 dreads and I like them to be a little bit thicker and fuller. So I'll come back with that video shortly.